What's going on, world? It's your boy, Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at Jupiter and Pisces, this transit coming up, and one of the ways in which you can tap into this energy through the power of isolation and endings. So, let's get into it. Now, Jupiter's already in Pisces, and it's going to be here all year long. And within going forward in astrology, you get a lot out by looking back. So I encourage everyone to just take a second and really review specifically the influence of Jupiter in Aquarius alone for you. And also within doing that, you'll be reminded that the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction uh, occurred and just look at everything that transpired from there, right? It tells a story collectively as well as individually. So then, as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, you know, I'll link up here. Uh, you can look at your chart in a, a lot of different ways in terms of transits. There are so many different transits we're all under. Now, what we're going to talk about here is... The influence of Jupiter and Pisces, specifically in a collective sense, how it's all going to work for everyone. But based on that influence, how you can take advantage for yourself. So you may be having this transit occur in some very social houses, 11, 10, uh, 7, 5. And overall, it may be an extroverted time for you. But one of the strong influences of Jupiter in Pisces this year, which will be accentuated through Neptune in Pisces as well, is the need for isolation. And within looking at the energy, diving into it and, and acknowledging it not for what I want it to be, but like what it can shape up to be and ultimately acknowledging the fact that the world is changing. <laughs> so one of the themes is this virtual reality thing in the metaverse. And in like the opposite sense of Pisces, we look at it in a sense of like, this is happening. And how can I practically roll with the, the tide, right? To a degree, there's an understanding of that needs to be done. So within this, you have to think like, okay, if this is going to be a thing in the world, how is it going to change the world? And in a very direct sense, if people are, are engulfed in virtual reality, where are they not going to be as present? Right? So underlying that is going to be the prep for that. And if you, depending on how you look at it, you can say this two and a half, two year period so far is also been adding to it. The pandemic, being indoors, restriction, this, having to sit with yourself. So that's the energy that's been at play. And with Jupiter here, it's going to expand. But how are you going to adjust to that? So for many, it's going to be in, in alignment with who they are, even if they didn't know that's who, who they were. Because think about it, the, the people who, let's say, are thriving in an online sense, depending on your niche or whatever, may not have discovered that had social media not been a major component in how the world was operating. So if this was the early 2000s, uh, a YouTube or someone who was like, yo, this is the thing and trying to embody that then <laughs> would be misunderstood, would be seen as like ahead of, the, of his time. Like, why are you on the computer? That's weird. Like, Right, but give it seven to ten years, here we are, computer based. 
So for clarity, what I'm saying is I believe that Jupiter and Pisces, in addition with Neptune already have been here, is going to usher in a big layer of added isolation in a collective sense of kind of normalcy. So keep it in mind, kids are being born. Kids, these are the formative years for some kids. Anybody who's ever, I don't know, been like an athlete or something can tell you if you're really involved in an activity, 11 to 14 is a hell of a time in which you develop a lot of understanding and core habits. So we'll continue to monitor how the world and things are shaping out, but I'm always going to encourage that balance of social integration, of real world interaction and spending time in nature. But talking a little bit more about isolation, it's going to be imperative to surrender to that flow. So within this, isolation is going to be for some the changing of habits of say you've been a very group oriented person to this point in your life in your how this energy is going to work is that let's say it's maybe this transits for you in your 7th or 11th rather than expanding the partnerships in the way you think it is it's actually going to represent an expansion of or of isolation in those areas or to give an example like the seventh house person who's normally used to doing things with others or gaining motivation from others in a certain sense has to find it for themselves or is discovering doing particular things alone and in, 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 in the power that comes from that so I, that's where we're getting so first and foremost there's going to be a need to embrace that and as we'll see in the upcoming weeks with venus and mars doing this crazy dance i believe that there's going to be a lot of friendships that really dissipate and as a spiritual person who's a human i'm like oh wow i think this is this is it and then you watch but all we can like i said we can just forecast and then and embody it and experience it, right? So with this isolation is gonna come discoveries because it goes hand in hand with spirit. So you may realize in a particular sense, oh wow, this the type of um interactions that I've been having with or relationships that I have with others have limited me in this particular uh, sense. And now I have more time or more more focus to embrace that and really it's going to boil down to like more influence and you're going to be free of influence to follow the beat of that drum so there's going to be that power and isolation uh very present but to get a hold of that one has to embrace it or surrender it so my advice to you is if you intuitively, because that's how this energy is working, intuitively sense the need to let go or that things are changing, it's best not to hold on. However, it's going to be the natural human thing to want to do so. But if we're thinking about in the sense of how we can exercise greater wisdom, it's within perceiving it through the third eye and everything and letting it play out and just accepting what is to come. Now, uh, to give you some insight in behind this, like I said, just on one regard, you have to spend more time alone to connect spiritually. That's just a given. And there's a love of, 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 of isolation that needs to develop. It's called solitude. Right, you want to learn to be all right with that, and then in that moment, you can hear more, 
So the next part of this isolation is going to come from the need to let go of certain energetic cords and connections. And this within itself is another layer of surrender and letting go. Now, what's for a lot of people, this is going to be a long time coming. And through this journey and cycle that's wrapping up, you you will ha have had bits and pieces of the wisdom, inklings of it, right? And this is the year in which you truly can actualize that. But reiterating, because of the nature of this energy, it'll come in a subtle way. And I'm going to give you a, a, a more overt way, and I'm going to give you an actually subtle way of how it will play out. So let's say, oh, this could be friendships, actual romantic relationships, jobs which carry energies. <clears throat> so in the more overt way, it's like, I got fired. I, uh, this person was cheating or, um, you know, our lease is up. This is real shit that happens. It's just like, I'm not going to do it. Okay. So those are more like, oh, life or Saturn it forcing the hand of the ending. In the more Jupiter and Pisces sense of how it's going because the cycle is wrapping up. The things are naturally withering away. So on one regard, you have a chance to end with understanding. And in the next regard, you have a chance to just gather momentum in the next direction. So in a more subtle way, it's like for the last couple of years, you've been in school uh, working towards, you know, something for a new job. And this is the year in which you start the new job. And because you have the new job, you have the new financial opportunities. Maybe it's relocated you. But the thing is, like, before, you weren't ready. If You weren't, like, you couldn't get out of that situation because it wasn't time. So in one regard, it's like, this is why I said Saturn you know, releasing and rewarding in certain senses if, if you put in the work. So you, you you had a plan in mind. You saw the goal through. Now you're experiencing the wisdom, the truth of what you were working for. And then that in the long run is enabling those old connections and things to fall away and you embracing this new, you know? So I, I was going to say, I hope this makes sense, but I didn't. I kind of know it will, and the beauty is we could press rewind and things like that. So let's review a little bit. For some, it's going to be a need to surrender to different things within our lives. And within the surrender, and, and that can be just uh, connections and situations naturally wither, withering away or giving you the understanding that it's not working no more, right? So let go of the thing. In the next sense, isolation is going to be key within this because once you start to spend more time with yourself, you're going to naturally learn more and connect at a soul level. And then there are going to be cycles ending which are giving way to new cycles beginning which is going to change just the dynamics of how you've been relating um, and expressing your wisdom so it is going to be such a real interesting year and i had brought up the metaverse stuff in the beginning because that's another layer of the in the collective fabric that is uh or the seeds that are growing there so it's a lot to monitor. And yeah, we'll we'll look back at this video next year and see how things have changed and progressed. But it's a little bit about isolation, power that comes from that and you know, endings. And so feel free to chime in. Let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't checked out my new book, Astrology of the Matrix, feel free to do so now. The link is in the description. If you need a reading, feel free to 
uh, check out my website, send me an email. We'll set something up. So next time, peace.